Where did economics come from? How did humans develop the skills to trade for things they value? We need to calculate, plan and trust. Sometimes when we give something, we expect something in return. This forms the basis of our entire economic system. Does the ability to trade make us special? Or do other animals have what it takes too? We know that humans are very good at exchanging one thing for another and they have developed this into an extensive trading system. Um, so it, it's quite common for humans to give something to obtain more in return. But it's not that common in animals. They do transfer a lot of things to each other and they groom each other. But what we don't know is whether they do so to obtain more in return, to obtain the support of this individual later on, for example. Dr. Valérie Dufour is interested in how trading evolved in humans. To investigate this, she is doing some trading experiments with some particularly brainy animals. Some of the animals are quite closely related to us. It's no surprise that chimpanzees and monkeys share some of our skills. But others are a little more surprising. Valerie uses the same experiment for all the animals. First, she gives them a piece of food. Then, she gives them a chance to give it back by holding out a cup or her hand. If they do, they get something bigger or better in return. All three species have learned to exchange with Valerie like this. But this is the easy part. Valerie has introduced an element of chance into the deal. In her experiment, the animals are shown six different rewards. Some are big, some are small, but they don't know which one they are going to get if they decide to trade. Sometimes the odds are good, sometimes they aren't. So, can our animals work out when to trade or not? Here we are with the ravens, uh, Manon and Hugo. And ravens are more interested in the quality of the food they exchange. So uh, Manon will, for example, happily exchange one piece of grape for a piece of bread, and even better, exchange a piece of bread for a piece of cheese. What's interesting is that when they're not uh, guaranteed to obtain a better um, a food in return, they start being less uh, and less prone to exchange. So that's interesting in comparison with uh, other species who might be a little bit more prone to take some risk uh, when trading uh, with us. So it seems that so far, the ravens are outsmarting some of the capuchin monkeys, making better decisions about when to trade or not. Are the birds really more intelligent? Perhaps the monkeys just can't resist the chance of a good deal. So what happens when Valerie tries to trade with a real expert? So this is Cindy. Um, this was Cindy, and she's 45 year old, and uh, she's uh, she's been trading for a long time now. The keepers have always been able to retrieve some objects from the enclosure because she's trading them with them for little bits of food. So uh, she's a very good trader and she's the first uh, subject that we have been working with in this experiment. While Cindy usually likes to trade, uh, she seems to be calculating whether to trade or not, uh, depending on what's on offer. Chimpanzees are our closest relatives, so if all chimpanzees are like Cindy, these results are particularly interesting because it means that chimpanzees know in which circumstances they should trade and in which they shouldn't. With experiments like these, Valerie can find out if animals have basic trading skills. In this case, we can see if they can calculate risk. It's no surprise that chimpanzees 
and even monkeys share some of our basic abilities. We are cousins after all. But why should ravens be so smart? And how does that relate to our own intelligence? These are all questions Valerie is keen to investigate. In addition to testing non-human animals, we also work with humans. We are looking at how children uh, first learn to give, um, but also what they understand about giving and how they learn to use giving as a way to obtain more. If we observe that animals give back something of value for them to obtain more, this is almost directly comparable to what humans do when they trade one food for another. And we do not expect uh, animals to be capable of showing such skills. So if we can show that they can do that, they can exchange one thing for another in a, in a very clever way so that they maximize their gain, they they only do it when they benefit from it, not when they won't benefit from it. Um, they are capable of taking calculated risk in a way. Then we do really show that they have the, the, the skills that might be the same as those we use when uh, we do economics. Hi, I'm Valerie Dufour and I hope you enjoyed our short film. RZSS, the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland, collaborate with several universities from Scotland to conduct research here at Edinburgh Zoo. We're looking out for volunteers, so if you want to take part in our experiments and if you're a parent with children aged from 14 months to 8 years old, you're very welcome to take part and we will explain a little bit more about our research. You may be asked if you want to participate to our research, so just look out for us either in Living Links or in Budongo. And you can also contact us by email. I hope you enjoy finding out about our projects conducted here at Edinburgh Zoo.